بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now we will discuss an important subject in obstetric which is abortion before we discuss abortion we must know that abortion is one of the causes of bleeding in early pregnancy so So, what are the other causes of bleeding in early pregnancy? Ectopic pregnancy, vesicular mole, and incidental bleeding. Incidental bleeding means bleeding due to a local lesion in the genital tract. The lesion in the genital tract may be cancer cervix, may be fibroid cervix, may be varicose vein, or ulceration in the cervix so these are the causes of bleeding in early pregnancy there is an important term which is viability viability is very important because it can differentiate abortion and ectopic and physical hormone and incidental bleeding or what we call bleeding in early pregnancy from other from late bleeding in early pregnancy so when bleeding occurs before viability of the fetus it is termed bleeding in early pregnancy and when it occurs after viability of the baby the term is antipartum hemorrhage Viability means ability of the baby to survive if it is taken outside the uterus, whether by incubator or without incubation. Abortion is a very important subject. We discuss the definition, the incidence, and the etiology. Definition of abortion means interruption or termination of pregnancy before viability of the fetus. Why we didn't say termination of pregnancy before viability of the fetus only? Why we insist on interruption or termination? Because in some cases, the pregnancy may continue in spite of the presence of abortion, like cases of what we call threatened abortion. Threatened abortion is a type of abortion, but the pregnancy continue, and so, and so, we call it interruption or termination of pregnancy before viability of the baby or of the fetus. The incidence is about 20%, and the etiology may be due to accidental causes and causes of habitual abortion. Accidental causes like what? Like abnormalities of the fertilized ovum, trauma to the mother abdomen, hormonal deficiency as estrogen, progesterone, or abnormality of the function of the thyroid gland, some maternal infection, Nervous psychological conditions, acute fevers also may cause, it is one of the causes of abortion, accidental causes of abortion, severe nutritional or dietetic deficiencies, maternal anoxia, drugs like ergot drugs, and rapid over distension of the uterus as in cases of poly hydramus, acute polyhydramus. Causes of habitual abortion, we will discuss it later. Now we will discuss clinical types or clinical varieties of abortion. We differentiate between <coughs> every type and the other by important items, which are number one, 
manifestations of pregnancy if present or absent. Number two, bleeding if it is severe, mild or moderate. Number three, pain the, if the pain is mild pain or severe pain. The condition of the cervix if it is closed or dilated and if there is rupture of membrane or passage of the fetal tissue. So, these items will differentiate every type from the other. First, we'll, we, we will discuss threatened abortion. Threatened abortion means that there is threatening, there is a threatening in the continuation of pregnancy. In this condition, there is all the manifestations of pregnancy are present. There is mild pain, mild bleeding, the cervix is closed, and there is no passage of fluid or fetal tissue. In threatened abortion, the condition we can't def we may uh, 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 ascertain the diagnosis by ultrasound because the condition may be mistaken with missed abortion because in missed abortion also the bleeding is minimal pain is minimal or there may be no pain at all and the cervix is closed. The only difference between the two is that in threatened abortion, the baby is living, but in missed abortion, there is a retention of dead fetus. Dead fetus is retained inside the uterus. So ultrasound can differentiate between the two types. The second type of abortion is inevitable abortion. Inevitable abortions means whatever we do, the pregnancy will be terminated. So it is inevitable abortion. In this type of abortion, also manifestations of pregnancy are present, all the manifestations, but the bleeding is severe bleeding with severe spasmodic suprapubic pain. The cervix is, if we examine the patient by bimanual examination, we will find the cervix opened and there may be passage of fetal tissue or amniotic fluid. The fourth type is complete abortion. Complete abortion means that the abortion is completed, meaning that all the content of the pregnancy are expelled, the uterus become will becomes will contracted and empty the cervix also in this type is closed with minimal pain and bleeding with minimal pain and bleeding a specific type of abortion is cervical abortion in cervical abortion the product of conception left the uterine cavity and distend the cervix and the, so the cervix will be ballooned and dilated between the internal and the external os. It is characterized by severe pain. In septic abortion means septic abortion means that infection superimposed or any type of abortion so if any type of abortion with infection we consider it as septic abortion the infective organism may be e coli beta hemolytic streptococci anaerobic organism staphylococcus aureus and these are the main types of organisms which cause septic abortion the source of infection may be exogenous, endogenous, or autogenous infection. And the condition is characterized by severe headache, malaise, 
pyrexia, rapid pulse, and the treatment. We will discuss it. Is by uh, combined broad spectrum antibiotic and hospitalization of the patient and giving the patient ample amount of fluid, energetic antibiotic, and we take a swab for culture and sensitivity test and we evacuate the uterine content. Also in septic abortion, we must isolate the patient. We must isolate the patient in hospital and rest in bed and antibiotic together with evacuation of the uterus. Missed abortion, missed abortion means that the baby is dead and is retained inside the uterus. So, the manifestations of pregnancy are not present. All the manifestations of pregnancy disappear after being present, also with minimal pain or absent pain, minimal bleeding, and the condition is characterized by dark brown discharge pregnancy test become negative after being positive in missed abortion and the cervix is closed the cervix in missed abortion is closed and as we discussed we differentiate missed abortion from threatened abortion by investigation which is ultrasound ultrasound only differentiate threatened from missed abortion. In missed abortion, also the size of the uterus is less than the expected period of amenorrhea. So, the size doesn't correspond to the period of amenorrhea in missed abortion together with absence of manifestations of pregnancy, minimal pain, minimal bleeding or absent pain and bleeding, and the cervix is closed. We have two main important complications of mis missed abortion. Number one, if infection superimposed and we change missed abortion into septic abortion. And the second is that a high profibrogenemia may occur and this is a very dangerous condition together with infection. Therapeutic abortion means that we interfere to do abortion for saving the life of the patient for medical indications. non therapeutic or what we call the illegal or criminal abortion. This is the last type of abortion. Diagnosis and treatment. As we discussed, the main Diagnosis, as we discussed before, according to the manifestation of pregnancy, presence of pain, presence of bleeding, presence of uh, presence of bleeding, pain, cervical condition, if it is closed or not, if the condition corresponded to the period of amenorrhea or not. And the, the ultrasound will also differentiate between every type and the other. Uh, in inevitable abortion, the treatment is evacuation of the uterus by evacuation and decretage under general anesthesia. Threatened abortion needs rest in bed and we may give progesterone also, no sexual intercourse in threatened abortion. In incomplete abortion, we evacuate the uterus by dilatation and curettage operation under anesthesia. Septic abortion, as we discussed, we isolate the patient, analgesic antipyretic, rest in bed, and we give a good 
umbrella of broad spectrum antibiotic combined broad spectrum antibiotic and chemotherapy for anaerobic organism and lastly we must evacuate the uterus after stabilizing the condition of the patient miss the abortion we may wait for some weeks for spontaneous a expulsion because most in most cases spontaneous expulsion of the product of conception will occur and if the condition if the condition continue beyond four weeks we do dilatation and curettage the second the second most important term is habitual abortion habitual means that abortion occurs as a habit so the definition of habitual abortion is occurrence of three or more successive spontaneous abortion successive means the abortions occur immediately after each other and spontaneous without any interference from the patient or from the doctor so habitual abortion means occurrence of three or more number one successive number two they must be spontaneous abortions what are the causes of habitual abortion causes of habitual abortion number one general causes general causes of habitual abortion as chronic disease like diabetes hypertension chronic nephritis endocrine causes as abnormality of the function of the thyroid gland some maternal infection immunological factors immunological factors like lupus anticoagulant and anticardiolipin antibody lupus anticoagulant and the anticardiolipin antibodies lupus anticoagulant and anticardiolipin anticardiolipin antibodies these antibodies causes microemboli in the placental bed and causes habitual abortion marked nutritional deficiency also or dietetic deficiency and psychological disturbances psychological disturbances in habitual abortion local causes of habitual abortion which means that there is local lesion in the genital tract local anatomical or abnormal lesion in the genital tract which cause abortion as hypoplastic or congenital anomaly of the uterus ismic incompetence pelvic tumor retroversion flexion of the uterus hypoplasia of the uterus in this condition in each pregnancy the duration of pregnancy is prolonged so if the patient is now is pregnant in about five weeks the next time will be aborted at six weeks and the after that at eight weeks and so on so the abortion occurs in ascending ascending schedule ascending schedule Congenital anomaly of the uterus means subceptate or septate uterus. Bardak, it causes habitual abortion. Pelvic tumor as fibroid, particularly uh, submucous fibroid. Retroversion flexion also causes habitual abortion. And here there is an important cause of habitual abortion, which is ismic incompetence. Ismic incompetence means incompetence of the internal os of the cervix. What are the causes of ismic incompetence? Usually, 
they may be congenital but usually they are the ismic competence occurs as a result of a source of trauma a source of trauma to the internal os as bad management of normal labor if we do manual dilatation of the cervix forceps or breech extraction before full cervical dilatation this will cause a source of incompetence in the internal os also laceration of the internal os as during rapid or vigorous dilatation of the cervix in dilatation and decrotage operation and so on or in high amputation of the cervix in isbic incompetence habitual abortion occurs in a specific and in a characteristic manner and usually we reach most of the diagnosis of ismic incompetence from the history of the patient history of the patient gives us an important items for the diagnosis of ismic incompetence it is characterized by habitual mid trimester abortion so abortion doesn't occur very early in pregnancy it occur it occurs in the mid trimester so there is habitual mid trimester abortion number two is that the abortion is accompanied by little pain and bleeding very minimal pain or and bleeding it takes a very short time abortion takes a very short time it is preceded by rupture of membrane and the baby is living without any congenital anomaly and as we said the condition takes a very short time so ismic incompetence is characterized by habitual mid trimester abortion the process of abortion takes a short time with minimal pain minimal bleeding the condition the baby is living with no congenital anomaly and also it is preceded by rupture of the membrane this is the characteristic history of ismic incompetence the treatment we will discuss it later but in ismic incompetence we diagnose the condition by either hysterosalpingography or by ultrasound or by passing number eight if the patient is non-pregnant we can pass through the cervix number eight Hager dilator without any resistance Other causes of abortion are fetal causes of abortion due to due to abnormalities of the fertilized of abnormalities of the fertilized of treatment of habitual abortion is between pregnancy we give the patient in between pregnancy in habitual abortion we give the patient hormonal treatment and before we give her the hormonal treatment we must treat the cause we must treat the cause if there is cervical incompetence we treat it if there is infection we treat it if there is chronic disease we treat it and so on number two good diet and during pregnancy and hormone uh, between pregnancy we treat the cause and we give the patient hormonal treatment that hormonal treatment by progesterone and if the patient is in need for thyroid extract if there is deficiency of the function of the thyroid gland you give her thyroid extract during pregnancy rest diet hormonal treatment and by estrogen and the progesterone or thyroid extract we may need during pregnancy surgical treatment surgical treatment for habitual abortion during pregnancy is done to remove or to treat the specific cause of abortion like if there is fibroid submucous fibroid 
we treat it, we remove it through hysteroscopic removal. If there is isbic incompetence, we treat it. How we can treat it? We can treat it by doing surgical operation to tighten the, the container os to tighten the abdominal os to make it strong by two types of operation we have mcdonald operation or shirutkar operation or shirutkar operation before doing any operation for incompetent cervix we must assure that the baby is living and has no congenital anomaly. So, we do the operation usually after 10 weeks because this is the time to be sure that there is no congenital anomaly and to assure that the baby is living. In short car operation, we pass a nylon or silk is done is passed under the mucosa at the level of the internal os and tighten it to strengthen the region of the internal os and in mcdonald operation we make purse string suture about four purse string suture from outside at the level of the internal os so, the treatment of ismic incompetence needs what we said, surgical treatment by Shirtkar or McDonald, but it is usually done, or it must, done, it must be done after detecting the, that the baby is living and that the baby has no congenital anomaly, so we do it after from the 10th to the 12th week of gestation.